Hi everybody, this is Christine and I'm here today to share with you one of my Graphic 45 brand ambassador projects and we're going to get into a fun technique tutorial in the video. So first off, this is a tag album and in the Graphic 45 blog I will teach you step by step how to make all of the tag fronts and backs. So be sure to check out the blog for those steps to create the fronts of these tags. In this video, I'm going to very quickly show you how to create these pieces that look like coral using fun fur. But then the main tutorial is going to be to show you how to create this corset style binding. You can use this for your tag albums and you can even use this in mini albums. So stay tuned and we're going to get started next. To add more texture and dimension, we are going to be making some of our own little pieces that look like the coral here in the pattern. So I have one piece here that I've already made. I'm going to show you how I made this. It's actually really simple. All you need is some Mod Podge and some type of fun fur. So I got this at the thrift shop a while back. Um, and it has some pink on here. So what I did was I cut a piece off of it that just has the yellow and the orange. So I don't want to use any pink in this. And you know, it's going to match this here. So all you have to do is take a pair of scissors and cut a piece however long you want your piece to be. So this one was really little. So it was about two inches long whenever I started with it, but you can make it any size. So we're going to just cut a piece off. And then you want something that is okay if you get some glue on it. So I'm gonna be using my glass mat here for this. And you're just going to take this piece and add a little too much there. So you're just gonna add some Mod Podge and you're gonna coat this and then you can just sit this aside and let it dry or you can use a heat gun if you have that too, just depending on how much time you have, but you can just basically make sure that it's coated. You can shape it however you want to and you can let it dry. So I'm just going to set this aside here. I'm gonna move this out of the way. So I'm gonna set that one aside and then we're going to just do the same thing. So continuing to cut pieces, I would say cut some small pieces, cut some larger pieces. That way you have a variety for when you go to add these onto the tag. A little bit of pink there, so I want to cut that off. And again, I'm just going to use this leftover here. I've got some on my fingers, need a little bit more. You don't need a ton but you wanna make sure that you have enough because that's what's going to stiffen this up. If you've ever used fun fur, you know, it kind of flops around, so it wouldn't be ideal to put on the tag front as it is, but once we do this, it will stiffen right up, but it still has the look of what we're going for in the paper. So I'm just going to smooth this out here. And lay it down. And once it is dry, you can actually shape it some more because we'll be gluing this down. So if you don't like the shape, once it is dry, you can bend it and work with it. If you don't have Mod Podge, you can probably use regular Elmer's glue to do this as well. I think any glue would probably work. I just have a bunch of Mod Podge. That's what I tend to use. But anything that'll dry clear and stiffen this up should be fine. The next step, we're going to bind this. So I have all of my holes here where I'm going to make a corset binding. And what we're going to need next to do this is some 
ribbon or some twine. You can use whatever you want for this step. I personally feel like the thinner ribbons or the twine are easier instead of something that's a little bit larger like this ribbon here. So I'm just using just orange ribbon. I think I got this at Michael's. You can use whatever ribbon you want. And for this tag album here, we're going to need approximately 50 inches of ribbon to be able to bind this. So the first thing that we want to do with our ribbon is find approximately the center of the ribbon. I'm going to crease it here, going to unfold it, and then I'm actually going to use my pencil just to make a little mark on the center. It's going to be helpful for me to do this so that whenever I am pulling these ribbons through, I know where the center is. Now what we're going to do this first step is the most time consuming part, but after this, it gets a little bit quicker. So we're going to take the first end of the ribbon and we're going to go down through each tag on the bottom hole one at a time. Now I'm going to take the other side of the ribbon and I'm going to take these and I'm going to go down through the bottom hole of each one. Now we want to stand our tags up, make sure that the holes are lined up pretty fairly evenly. It's okay, they don't have to be perfect, it just makes this next step easier. So we want to try to find the center where we have our ribbon marked. There's my center, I can see it. So just kind of pull until you find it. And we're going to need to make sure that this is pretty even so we have enough on each side. So I'm gonna pull until my ribbon is pretty centered. There we go. And then, okay. We're going to take the ribbon on the right side cross it over to the left side. Then we're gonna take this ribbon through the second set of holes. Once you have it through all of the holes, go ahead and pull this. We'll make sure that these ribbons are laying flat at the end, but you can just kind of turn them now. It'll be a little bit easier. Don't pull it too tight because we need there to be some room. And then we're going to take the left side, cross it over to the right, and we're going to run this ribbon through the second set of holes.
once you have it through all of the holes, go ahead and pull that one tight. So now we have our first crisscross in the corset binding. I like it so that it's even where each of the ones on the bottom is the same. So I'm going to start again from the right hand side, cross over left. And I'm going to go up through each of these holes. And I'm just going to repeat this process until I get all the way to the top through all five sets of holes. Now that I have all of my ribbon through the holes, I'm just going to go and try to straighten it out a little bit so that the ribbon lays flat. And then I'll tie it off when I'm done. Now that my ribbon is laying pretty flat, I want to make sure that I have enough room in here for the pages to lay pretty flat, but I don't want there to be big gaps. And so it looks like I've got some pretty decent spaces here. And it's okay if one is a little bit longer than the other because we're going to trim these anyway. So we've got our corset binding done. What we're going to do next, we are going to Careful when we tie this knot because we don't want to pull it too tight. And 
And then what I'm going to do, I have the little piece of chipboard and I have another key. I'm going to take this and put my chipboard on first. And then I'm going to run this through my key. And then I'm going to tie one more knot. You could, throughout here when you're tying and lacing, you could actually hang charms and chipboard off of there if you want to. You can do this however you want. If you don't want this, you don't have to do this. But now, let me turn this. We've got our chipboard and our key hanging down on the corset binding. Then I'm going to just tie a bow. And with a pair of scissors, I'm going to first trim off the one that has the glue on the end of it, and then the larger one. So now we have our corset binding, and again, you can play with this if it starts to not be flat, but there's our binding. So now, we can flip through our tags in their mini album. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I hope that you will give it a try on your next project. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe and check back the next time for the next video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.